In this video, I'm going to be introducing prisms and cross-sections. A prism, what is it? A prism is a solid object with identical ends or bases, flat sides, and the same cross-section all along its length. A prism is named by the shape of its base. So pictured here, we have a prism, and the bases of the prism are triangles and the ends of a prism are parallel. So the two triangles would be parallel and each one is called a base. And the sides of a prism are actually parallelograms. We've been talking about different quadrilaterals and polygons. So we're going to be using that knowledge uh, with our standard with the prisms. A cross section is the shape made by cutting straight across an object. So literally imagine yourself cutting through the prism and it would be the shape that's made at that intersection. That's what we would call a cross section. So let's look at some examples of prisms. The first one I have, you want to identify what the bases would be of the prism. Uh, the bases would be in blue in this case, and they are the shape of a rectangle. So we would call this prism a rectangular prism. Next, we have this shape, this prism, and the two, the bases would be a pentagon, the shape of a pentagon, and therefore we would be naming this prism a pentagonal prism. Next we have this prism and the two bases that form this prism are triangles. And so we'd call this prism a triangular prism. If each prism pictured below were sliced by a plane, let's review what a plane is. A plane is just a two-dimensional flat surface. So if each prism pictured below were sliced by a plane parallel to the base of the prism, remember the base are the ends of the prism, what shape would be formed by the intersection of the plane and the prism? So first here I have a triangular prism. So the bases are triangles. And so if we were to slice it parallel to the triangles, the shape that would be formed by the intersection of the plane and the triangular prism would actually be that shape in red, which is a triangle. So the cross section would be a triangle. Next, we have a rectangular prism. The rectangles are the bases, they're the ends of the prism. So if we were to slice it parallel to the rectangles, the shape that would be formed by the intersection of the plane in the prism would be a rectangle. So that is the introduction to prisms and cross sections. So by watching this video, you should be able to name different prisms and you should be able to identify cross sections of the prisms.